I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. I think this is a really great way to practice decision making if you have a set at home. If you don't have a set yet, there's a link below the video to where you can get one. Also, there's a link there for a lesson playlist and a player reference. If you download the player reference, you can follow along as I play this game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and they're built into walls next to these risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game by monitoring the number of tiles left in the wall. I'm going to deal the tiles. East will get 14, south, west, and north will each get 13. Okay, everybody has their tiles. We're gonna say there's a one fawn minimum. A fawn is like a point. So no zero point hands. That's also called a chicken hand. No chicken hands. Let's see what we can do for player one. They have one, two, three pair. If we get one more pair, I think we should play all pung, which is three of a kind. Any pair is a potential pung. We do have some chow potential though here. One, two, three, four potential chows and a pair. So I think I would start by discarding the east and see how it goes. An all chow hand, which is all three in a sequence, is one fawn. All pung is three fawn. So let's just see what happens there. We're gonna look and see what we can do for south now. They have two flowers, including their own, a number two. This is player one, two, three, four. If you get your own flower, you get a fawn for that. So we're gonna take replacement tiles. They've already got one fawn. So here we have a potential chow or a potential chow there. We have a potential chow here or here. Here's a potential pung here and here. And then we have single honors, which are winds and dragons. So we'll see what happens there. They do have a pretty good chance for a half flush, which would be one suit with winds and dragons. Let's see what we can do for West. They have a number two flower that's not theirs, so they won't get score for that. Ooh, they have a pung of their seat. This is east, south, west. They just have a pung of their seat right now. That's, a, that's one fawn right there. Now here they have two potential chows. Here's a potential chow. So we'll see what happens there. Maybe chows in their seat. Wind, that would be a one fawn hand. Let's see what we can do for north. They have their seat flower, for flower. So they'll get a point for that. I think I would try maybe all pung. Here's three pair. They could just pung, pung, pung. We'll see what happens for them. Okay, we're gonna start by discarding. Let's see, we're thinking either all chows or all pungs. We are gonna get rid of the east. Right now they have no flowers and that's a fawn. So let's draw now for south, seven crack. So here we've got singles, pair, pair, 
two potential chows. Let's go ahead and get them to a half flush, five bam. And we can draw for this player. Now here, they have their fawn right there. Let's go ahead and chow. And then we can discard this three crack and draw four north. Six bam. There's a six bam out in a chow. Let's go ahead and throw that. Nobody can take that six bam, so let's draw four east. Five crack. We can get rid of the one dot pretty safely, I think. Nobody can take the one dot, so let's draw four south. Five crack. Look at that half flush. Let's discard the six bam. Potential chow, chow, potential pung, potential pung. We can just get rid of those. Here we have now six bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Seven crack. We can discard that. Okay, nobody can take the seven crack. We're gonna draw for north. Ooh, they paired up. Okay, good, because we're gonna try to get them to all pung. Here's a one, two, three, four pair. Four pair, all they really need in here is another pair. They just need to pung. Let's go ahead and get rid of the dragons. As singles, they can do nothing with all these number tiles. Let's draw for east because nobody can take a green. Red. Let's see. We're in between all chow and all pung. Let's discard the red and draw for south. Six dot. Nobody can take it. You think, well, why not chow? You cannot chow from any other player except the player on your left. We're going to draw four west. Eight bam. Okay. Pung. The red dragon was thrown. We could maybe pair it up. Let's discard this one dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw four north. Nine dot. That's not going to be helpful to them. And we can draw four east. South, discard. Nobody can take a south, so we'll draw for south. Eight crack, oh yeah. Now we can get rid of this eight bam. And they are looking pretty good for half flush. Potential chow, chow or potential chow here. There's a chow there, one, two, and they could maybe pung here. There's some flexibility there. Let's draw four west. Three bam. Let's see if we can get them to a half flush. Three dot. Nobody can take a three dot. We're looking to pung up here, so you don't want to chow if you're going for pungs, because that would make, make us go to a chow hand instead. So we're going to draw or try for pungs. Green dragon, that's unfortunate. Okay, we're going to draw for east. Nine bam, we'll discard that. Nobody can take a nine bam, so we'll draw for south. Red dragon. Okay, the green dragon, there's two out. Let's discard the green. And we can draw four west. Eight bam, they have a pung. We can discard the six dot. Six dot, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw for north. Oh, paired up again. Maybe we could get them to seven unique pair, which is one of the exceptions to the four sets in a pair rule. One, two, three, four, five pair. We just need one 
more pair to get them ready to win on seven pair, which is four fawn. Let's throw the white dragon and draw four east. Green dragon, that's been discarded already. And we are now in the middle game. We're done with the second wall. So we're going to draw four south. Three dot. Drawing four west. Six dot. We're going to draw four north. Six crack. We're looking to pung or pair up. So we need to look at what is out and give ourselves the best possibility of pairing up. So let's see what's out. There's a three crack out. Let's throw that. There's a nine bam out too. Although a nine bam might be more a more likely discard. Let's discard the three crack. Number tiles two through eight are easier to work with chows. So sometimes the ones and nines are discarded. We may end up winning on that. Let's draw for east. Two bam. Okay, we're looking to either pung or chow. So let's see here. Potential chow. Potential chow pair, isolated pair. I think we have lots of good pung potential here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, one, two, pair, one, two, three, three, four, seven. Let's get rid of the nine crack. So we still have flexibility. We can still do all pung or all chow. Up here, let's pung nine crack. Okay, so we have a potential chow, or there's a chow and a potential chow. Here's two potential pungs there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the east and draw four west. Three crack. Three crack. Nobody can take the three crack. You can only chow from the player on your left. So we're going to draw four north. Two crack. There are no two cracks out. Let's see. Nine bam. There is one nine bam out. Let's discard the nine bam. And draw four east six crack okay there's a chow now there's a chow 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 pair potential chow potential chow let's throw the two crack we'll see if we can get them to chow an all chow hand and no flowers that would be too fun so we threw a two crack two crack nobody can take so we're going to draw for south four dot Nobody can take a four dot. We're going to draw for west. Five dot. We can discard that. And nobody can take a five dot. We're not going to pung it because we're closer to, we're really one away from all chow here. If we punged, we only have one, two, uh, we gave up a pair for all chow, so we need to stay put. Let's go ahead and draw for north. Okay, they have a pair. I think we're close to seven pair here. One, two, three, four, five pair. They just punged one of their tiles here. 
we could switch them to all pong. Let's see. We don't need all these tiles though. Let's go ahead and discard the eight crack and see. Maybe we could switch them to all pung. We're gonna draw for this player, although we could chow right here, but that would break up, that would make all these a bunch of waiting chows. I think we're better off to draw. Three crack, okay, here we go. North, yeah, that was a discard. Up here, Pung. Pung the north. Okay, now, if we discard this two crack, they could be ready on either a six crack, nine crack, three crack, three, six, or nine crack right here. So let's discard the two crack. Or they could even pung that red and get another fawn. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. So two crack was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for west. Eight dot. Nobody can take a west. We're going to draw for north. Six crack. Okay, now let's discard this two dot. And... They're ready to win on seven pair with a two crack. Now there are, there, is, there are two two cracks out. So if we get a better tile, we can swap it out. Let's draw four east, eight dot. Drawing four south, five dot. Drawing four west, five bam. Okay, we have a Pung isolated, Pung potential chows in here. Let's go ahead and discard the east. There are two out. We're gonna draw up here, seven bam. How many seven bams are out? None. We're gonna throw the two crack. So now they're in a little better shape here. Went on a seven bam of which none are out. We're gonna draw four east. Nine crack, we can discard that. And up here, pair, mahjong, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I counted that one. Mahjong, four south. So they have a half flush. They're mixing chows and pungs, which is fine in a half flush because this is a three fawn hand. They also have their own flower, so they ended up with four fawn. It would have been better to pung that red, but it didn't come in. Okay, four fawn. So for a four fawn, they get two, that is uh, for 2,000. So these two pay 2,000 each. And then this player pays double because they threw it. So they will pay 4,000. So here we go. Oop, wrong player, this player. Oops. Okay, so this player, they were, let's see, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. They were one away from ready on a chow hand. They needed a three bam or a two dot or six dot there. This player had a potential chow here. They were two away. They needed to get rid of these or pair, put it, make this a chow and then get a pair here maybe. So they probably should have discarded that a while ago. That's a dangerous tile to hold on to. Although we're halfway through the middle game. So I would have wanted to get rid of that probably right about now. 
and then this player was ready to win on a seven bam for seven pair. Let me know what you thought about that solitaire game. I enjoy it. It really keeps me on my toes and helps me stay in the game. For when I'm not playing regularly, I just pull out my tiles and play solitaire. Practice with the scoring, and I also practice building my hand while monitoring exposures and reading discards, trying to figure out what other players are playing. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you don't have a set yet, there's a link below the video to where you can get one. If you haven't learned how to play, don't forget to look for the lesson playlist and that player reference. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.